Well, welcome to the Just Jim radio show, the show that uh, creates an opportunity for discovering your truth and creating an opening for you to be able to step out into your life more fully by finding your passion, your purpose, the inspiration of your heart and soul and bringing it to your life, doing that by certainly bringing people on board for interviews to share varying topics and ideas that stimulate or awaken or activate within each of us uh, an illumination that lets us see more clearly and walk more easily this life we've chosen to live. Today I've got uh, a wonderful gentleman offering uh, his energy and his uh, insights. Uh, Jerry Gregg is here with us, a Science of Mind minister and associate minister of CSL. He's had just so many different uh, experiences in his education, in his training, in his sharing of who he is from uh, teaching to uh, being actively involved in real estate to uh, working on his ministerial uh, certification and master's degree in spiritual consciousness, just continuing to grow over and over and over again, uh, currently pursuing a PhD in conscious business ethics. Basically, Jerry's just one that's dead dedicated to making life better and making life different by sharing what he's experienced, who he is, and teaching what he can to help other people find their way. Welcome to the show today, Jerry. Well, thank you, Jim. With that introduction, I'd like to meet this guy. (laughs) (laughs) He sounds like a pretty good guy, doesn't it? Well, you have an extensive background in so many things, and today we're here to talk about Uh, metaphysics and new thought, among other things, and touch into what those terms mean and and how they relate to one another and how they make a difference in people's lives. That sounds wonderful. So when you look at the word metaphysics, we know that metaphysical is above the physical and new thoughts a little bit obvious, although we know that metaphysics and new thought are not something new. They've been around for a very long period of time. In general, what do you see as how metaphysics can make a difference and how that compares to new thought in life and in the world as we live it? Well, first of all, yes, new thought has been around for a long time. Um, The Greeks said the same things that have been said over and over and over since those days, and we're still saying them. So there is nothing new about new thought. Uh, And I... I don't usually differentiate metaphysics and new thought because in our normal life and how we live it, uh, we take the teachings and they seem to be so integrated and so with one another totally. Now, I forgot your question. (laughs) Well, actually, the the way to look at this then would be that uh, new thought and metaphysics are similar in the way they uh, are for each other as far as a, a philosophy that people can look at and discover themselves more fully. Uh, and yet you'll hear metaphysics being referred to uh, independently from new thought. Uh, and, and so it's like a, a different religions or different philosophies or different dogmas or creeds. They all have a similar message, and yet they say it a little bit differently so that different people can discover different things by following those independent but really unified paths. Exactly. The big difference I have seen is at SCOL, uh, you talk about metaphysical church, and I see the healing and the mediumship as an expansion beyond most every other New Thought church. So New Thought would be a philosophy that helps people find their spiritual truth uh, in varying ways, very universal, very open, embracing Uh, the teachings of many, and yet metaphysics and Sarasota Center of Light uh, embrace the new thought idea of living and the metaphysics of living, and and brings a lot of focus to to healing and mediumship. Those are are interesting topics to be talking about in the way they can touch people's lives. Healing is something that we know so many people do in so many different ways. We hear about varying healing modalities and varying approaches to that. Um, at Sarasota Center of Light, they approach it in a rather open and unconditional way. How have you experienced both being a, 
experiencing the healing there and having been trained in it and participating as a healer at Sarasota Center of Light. The thing I have found is that the healing program uh, is extremely powerful. Um, and it, it, it's an interesting powerful because it's so powerful for those receiving healing and it's amazingly powerful for those in Involved in giving the healing. It's a true sharing of divine spirit. And this sharing of divine spirit is just amazing. Um, I often hear where two or more are gathered. Well, where two or more are following the same objective and the same joy and the same purpose, it is extremely powerful. Um, and the healing modalities, I've seen many, many of them. And for a larger audience, the healing modality at SCOL is just wonderful. As you and, continue to mention SCOL, the abbreviation of Sarasota Center of Light, there is a focus there of spiritual healing, of bringing the energy and essence of the divine, of God, of source, of spirit into and through the healer as a channel and as, as you have said, so many people may see healers as uh, bringing something to the person they're working with. And yet here at the center, they, they speak so often about joining together as you did. It's about not the healer giving the person that they're healing something, but joining with them as they then experience that energy themselves joined with the healer and then their own innate wisdom, their own knowing within. Uh, is able to allow them to heal themselves, as we say at the center so often. It is a it is a beautiful joining together to make a difference. And and I like how you said not only does the individual who's receiving the healing uh, accept and experience the energy, but because the healer is offering it, it is moving through them also. And like you said, where two or more are joined, it blesses both of them and everybody involved in a really high level. It's a it's a beautiful experience, definitely there to watch that and see that happen. And I think that from my point of view, I see the healing at SCOL at the center as being one of the best kept secrets in this whole area. Um, there is a one hour healing program on Wednesday evening that is just so inspirational, so dynamic and so effective. Uh, there is also healing before the Sunday service on Sunday morning at 1030. And then the thing that so few people know about that is so amazingly wonderful, the first Saturday of every month, SCOL puts on what's called Psychic Saturday. And there are psychics and mediums sitting and they take uh, people and work with them. However, in a different building, there is healing. And the healing is free or a love offering. And it's uh, am amazingly powerful because it's very one-on-one. -on -one. It's, it's very private, but it's so intense. And the spirit is there. Um, I have been so honored to participate in this. So it's just here I am giving the commercial for the center, but it's very <laughs> heartfelt. It well, is very it, heartfelt, it, it and it should not be the best kept secret in town. I hear what you're saying. It is a center of light that shines very brightly, and within it, this healing, uh, spiritual healing that's done, and those who are so dedicated and devoted to it, coming together, not for themselves or not for their own purpose, but really to be of service and to share this light that can be reflected through healing to the individual and who may need it on many levels. Uh, certainly oh, yeah. people relate healing to physical, but also emotional, mental, even spiritual uh, alignments and uh, balancing and harmonizing of, of the energy or of the calming of emotions or the quieting of the mind and the easing of tension or, or stress or even pain within the body can be uh, influenced and, and, and brought to a higher level uh, through the healing, like you said, uh, before the morning service at 1030 on the evening uh, on Wednesdays where we come together for a healing intention and meditation 
ceremony and, and gathering, and then on Psychic Saturday once a month, that really intense uh, one-on-one healing that's also done uh, on that day a little bit differently. You mentioned something, and I would really like to expand on it. Uh, when people think of healing, they often think, oh, my golly, I have a broken arm, or I have a cough, or I have this, or I have that. And yes, we are talking about physical healing uh, through the mental and the power of the individual and the power of God. But probably the biggest benefit is the spiritual and emotional healing that comes. This is hard to explain to people until they experience it. And when people get that depth of experience of a peace that has taken away angst and upset and emotional strife that they've been carrying with them for heaven knows how long, and all of a sudden they'll finish the session and turn around and say, it's all gone. Oh, my God, it's all gone. How magnificent. So that's what I see as the real power of what we call healing. It's not just physical healing. In fact, to me, the biggest emphasis is not physical healing. It's the emotional. It's the internal healing. Bringing balance to the whole Bring, of bringing the balance. individual. Right. And, and in speaking of healing, uh, another focus at Sarasota Center of Light is mediumship, the whole idea of communicating with spirit and bringing information and bringing uh, messages from loved ones to those that are still here. Um, that's a very different approach to uh, uh, discovering what spirit is all about and yet brings about uh, wonderful healing for different individuals. Um, what's been your experience of that and how you see it? Well, I was just going to ask if we could talk about this. <laughs> so how wonderful this is. As a science of mind minister, um, in my ministerial program, I have not been really shown this. I have not been in tune with this. Uh, this has not been a part of it. And the irony of that is most of the ministerial program for Science of Mind and many other New Thought churches is based on the writings of Ernest Holmes. And he wrote a book called Science of Mind. He wrote it in 1916. It was totally revised in 1938. The 1916 edition had the spiritual healing in it. It had mediumship. It had much of this that is being practiced in what we call the metaphysical at SCOL. And it was taken out of the 38th edition, which is the edition everyone gets and the edition that the ministerial student studies from. So when I came to SCOL, I was just drawn to it. This is something I've missed. This is something I need. And in the year and a half I've been there as a student, and I'm learning, it has been magnificent. The mediumship is a healing modality, and we don't think of it as a healing modality necessarily, that has just been phenomenal. Um, I was talking with somebody we both know that you did an interview with recently, and in that interview, something came up about the um, one of the, the messages you gave and how it just amazingly changed and affected and gave a joy and an understanding to a 14-year-old boy that was just wonderful. His mother was with him. It was dynamic. So, And she has seen this, and she's living with this, the witness to it. 